Hi, my name is McKenna, and this is my husband, Sam. We live in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we've lived in West Michigan our whole life. Um, we've been married for two years, and Sam recently started working full-time within the pro-life movement. Yes. And so we just wanted to come on here today and talk about what it means to be pro-life. And we are willing to speak out on this topic because we believe abortion is the most abominable issue that faces our country today. Now, being pro-life is rooted in two, two things. Number one, it's rooted in the idea that men and women are created equal, that because we're human, we intrinsically bear value. And number two, it's rooted in the biological fact that life begins at conception, at fertilization, human life begins. And so it's with those two ideas, those two things, that we believe terminating a human life is wrong. And that includes pre-birth. So abortion is an issue of human rights and there are no other human rights issues where only one side gets to have an opinion on the topic. Um, if you believe that life is valuable, that every human life is valuable and deserves legal protection, then you have a moral obligation to speak out in favor of that, no matter who you are. An unborn human is not part of a pregnant woman's body. Now we know this is the case because an unborn human has its own set of DNA and beyond that, if it was just one human at play in this scenario, that means at some point this one human would have 20 toes, two brains, and other silly stuff going on, which just isn't the case. So it's not a question of, does the pro-life position lack respect for a woman's personal or private decisions? Rather, it's that we see this abortion issue through a lens that says, hey, there's two humans at play in this scenario. And the human whose life is in danger in this scenario, whose, whose life is at risk of being terminated, they have no say in the matter. Yeah, and I mean, protecting life is truly the most honorable thing that a government can do, so. Now there's a host of different things that we can do as pro-life men and women to support and protect the unborn. And remember, we're rooted in two principles. Number one, we're created equally. Men and women, we bear intrinsic value just because we're human. And number two, we're rooted in the biological fact that human life begins at conception, at fertilization. Yeah. It's with those two pieces of information that we move forward for better or for worse. And we know this conversation can feel taboo. It can feel uncomfortable. We're not gonna let that stop us. We're not gonna let the idea that this might be uncomfortable stop us from talking about it and acting on it. And so in that, November's just around the corner. We've got a lot of big elections coming up. We need to vote pro-life. We need pro-life government, pro-life laws, pro-life families. This is how we protect the unborn. And remember, this is our goal in it all. It can get caught up in this storm of, of politics and, and culture and all this weirdness. But at the end of the day, we're rooted in those two principles and we're here to protect life. So join us. We're with you in this fight. I hope you feel encouraged watching this video. God bless you.